Hello my friends and welcome back to the fifth installment of my beautiful English words series. Before we go any further, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell. That way I know how many of you are actually watching my videos and enjoying and learning from my work. And I want you to receive notifications whenever I produce new content that's designed to help you improve your English skills and abilities and confidence. So I'm excited about the small selection of words that I'm offering you today because I think a few of them sound especially beautiful and these are just really great words to enrich your vocabulary and improve your skills. So without further ado, the first word I want to teach you today is epiphany. So epiphany is when we describe a sudden moment of great clarity. When it, whenever you're able to understand something that perhaps you've been struggling with, a solution to a problem. And quite often epiphanies happen at the time that you least expect it. I mean, many times in my life I've had some kind of problem that I was having a really difficult time determining the correct solution to the problem. And while driving in my car or while taking a shower or doing some mundane routine task, suddenly the solution came to me like a bright light, felt sudden peace that I had finally solved my problem. And quite often in that epiphany, I realized that the solution to my quandary was actually quite simple. Next word is quintessential. So quintessential is a little bit nuanced and complicated to explain, but basically quintessential is an adjective that we use to describe a perfect stereotypical example of something. So I, as a man from Kentucky, can say that if you want to have the quintessential Kentucky experience, then you need to go to the Churchill Down, the world famous Churchill Downs horse racing track, maybe chew on a piece of Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, whilst drinking a mint julep, which is a cocktail made of bourbon and mint that's very famous from my state. This would be the quintessential Kentucky experience because we're famous for horses, chicken, and bourbon. So eating from KFC and drinking some bourbon whilst enjoying a horse race would be a quintessential Kentucky experience. And the next word is plethora. So plethora means a very large amount of something. For example, at, at Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving holiday that Americans celebrate in November, we have a lavish feast with a plethora of food options. And the last word that I'm going to teach you today is a word that is beautiful to say, but does not necessarily have a beautiful meaning or sentiment behind it. And that is the word nemesis. So a nemesis is a person who is your enemy, especially someone for whom you have strong disdain. I'm fortunate that I don't really have many nemeses in my life. I think I have a pretty peaceful relationship with just about everyone. But nemesis, a strong word for an enemy. Pleasant to say, not necessarily beautiful to ponder. As always, please like, share, subscribe, comment, interact with me. I always look forward to receiving your messages. And if there's any words that you're curious about, perhaps you'd like to know the correct pronunciation or you'd like to hear an explanation of these words from me, I am here to serve you and it would be my pleasure. So peace and blessings, my friends. See you next time.